That's the noontime church bells, guys, and we haven't gone anywhere. Look how much rain there is. We got probably two to three inches last night, maybe closer to two. Chickens down by the road again. I gotta come unload this tarp. We're gonna go do mulch today. We can't mow at all today, you guys see, but we're not behind on mowing. Um, we're getting to our weekly schedule this week. By the way, good morning, guys. Um, you will see the boss in a little bit. I need to get this stuff off the trailer. So I think I'm going to throw the, all this sod to the uh, chickens that are in the pen there. Over in my chicken pen. And the other ones, they just roam around and eat whatever. So let's go ahead and do this and then we'll get over to the job. Okay, guys, before we get started, let's see if it is a rain thing. This thing sat over here in the rain all night long. The pouring down rain. So let's see. Oh, not gonna stop. That's exactly what it is. Something gets wet. And I think it causes a short. Okay guys, I definitely think I figured it out. So when it rains, this thing doesn't want to turn over as you've seen. And smoke starts to come out like the wire is overheating. So what I did is I waited a second. I tapped that black thing, the black connection here, these connections, and water came out. And then as soon as I did that, it turned over. Okay guys, so I'm unloading the sod that I cut up and I put it in here for the chickens. It rained a lot, so it's a mess in there. But I took the opportunity to take old um, Zeppelin and Bamboo here. And since they were being nosy as to what I was doing, I decided to throw them back into the pen. Very easy to catch. Now I'm not sure about the other chickens, how easy they are to catch. So I am going to try to figure out how they're getting out. See if they tell me. And that way I can block it off for, I have to block it off for a specific amount of time and then we'll let them come back out. But I have to see where this hole is. I don't know if I'll be able to find out today because I'm trying to unload and if they're not gonna show me their secret, but we will see. Oh, I thought I missed them getting out. So one's in there, they're not gonna show me how they get out, but I'm gonna assume they are getting out right through this hole here. See this hole right here? Would you say they're getting out from there, guys? I would say so. So I'm gonna have to patch that up. I'll let them be for now, now that I think I know where they get out. Good afternoon, boss. Good afternoon. Yes, it's afternoon, guys. It rained like two, I think two inches last night. Yeah. And this morning, all the way up until 9, 10 o'clock, almost 11 o'clock, I think, right? I know, yeah. I woke up this morning, and it was pouring, so I kind of fell back asleep. And then I woke up again, it was still pouring. <laughs> you know, the good thing is, we didn't have any mowing on the schedule. No. So that is a good thing. I mean, a little behind in what we wanted to be with mulching, but... Hopefully we go quicker than what we think that we're going to do it. So Yeah, we're going to hook the tarp up to the big mower, the beast, mm -hmm. the big long tarp. We're going to throw the three um grow bag or the three bags that Rachel got, the debris bags um that she has. We're going to fill them up with all the spaded edges, drag the tarp all the way back to the trailer instead of using our bodies. Yeah. Then we're going to see how much mulch we can drag with that easily. Yeah, I'm I think thinking, we're going to get six yards today. I'm thinking we can drag a yard. Easily. We'll see. We'll see. Those bags are really good. So, yeah, that's our plan. We're yeah, our plan is to fill up them big bags mm -hmm. with the mulch. I don't know how. I'll see how many scoops. Put them on the tarp mm -hmm. and then drag them. We might even be able mm -hmm. to put a little bit more on the tarp, too. The reason we're going to do that is because um, to drag all of it over on the tarp at once and try to move it, it would be easier to put it in these grow bag or these debris bags, uh -huh. drag it over there and lift the debris bags off. Right. So we were again, 
we were going to buy actually a dump cart from one of this from I don't want to really say because I don't yeah. know if we're going to get it or yet or not. But we were going to buy a dump cart that you can hook. It has an attachment you can hook to the back of the Z3. And it pivots, dumps, does all that good stuff. The problem I is... I don't think that we need it. And the problem is with a dump cart is that you go up to a plant bed. And a lot of times you can only dump from the edge or scoop out from the edge. The little debris bags, we can drag three of them over there on a tarp. Four or five if we had, I think and lift up them bags to the parts where we can get behind plants and stuff instead of hitting things with the wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. um, it is, we found it's easier. We don't have to push yeah. empty wheelbarrows back to the car. We drag empty tarps. So this is not because we are, you know, not prepared or we don't have the money to invest in stuff. Yeah, we have two wheelbarrows. We, one's at another client's house and one's in our yard. Yeah, I mean, we... um this is our life. We share what works best for us. And and like one subscriber had said, we do things with equipment that some people don't have when we're doing beds and prepping yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I and understand. And that's what homeowners have that they, they, they can use. You know what I mean? For sure. I understand how it could definitely be because homeowners have more accessibility to the stuff that we use. Um, and homeowners aren't so. going to go buy a... A big mulch thing to stick on the front of their their mower that's a couple thousand dollars yeah. just to get mulch around their yard so no i mean and eventually because we do so much landscaping we are gonna get you know some type of mini car and yeah, things like that mover and yeah stuff. Um, rock, definitely. You can't do... Rock on a tarp. No. <laughs> or soil on a tarp, um, you can't do, so... Unless you have a little tiny backyard and have to move it in buckets like we did. Yeah. So, so <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, let's get out and do some uh, okay. work here today, boss. So, we got to hurry up and do as much as we can so we can get back to the mulch yard. They close at 5 and it is 2. Yeah. We are so back okay. here. We are going to work on this bed here. Yeah, it doesn't feel wet. This is on top of a mountain, so. But I'm gonna start working on this bed. We're gonna go back here and start all the way in the back and work our way forward. Okay guys, you see everything we got done here. And the reason we ro raked all that out, even though it's just a big open bed, is you want everything flat as can be when you're putting new mulch down. You don't want, see all the humps in the bed? You don't want all this stuff because when you lay the mulch on it, it's gonna lay over top of it. And then if you try to spread your mulch, you're gonna dig into the hump. But we're gonna see if Rachel can get this up there. Yeah. You think you got it? Makes it a lot easier. Right?
guys, we ran upon this thing. I'm not sure what it is. Rachel, take the rake and scrape the top off. Rachel said she thought it was a fire ant hole, but... I think. I don't see any fire ants. What else is it? What is it? That's so weird. Is it just a pile of sand? There's nothing in it, right? No. Well, that's good. I was a little nervous. So guys, we um, we went and got more mulch. This kind of looks like almost as big as what we got before, but this is six yards. Um, he loads a little heavier than the other guy that was there. She told me that when I said, well, let's do six first. Yeah, it doesn't look as big. It's a little smaller, so. But maybe he spread it out more. I don't yeah. know. Guess who's back, guys? The boss is back. Night crew's back. Yeah, night crew. It's ever six this time, probably. Is it? Almost. 553. 553. We have six yards of mulch so, to move. Yeah. And not much sunlight left, boss. A couple hours. Yeah, that's all right. I think we'll get it. And my quick. plan to move like a lot of mulch isn't going to go well because the tarp that we need to move a lot of mulch <laughs> is underneath holding all the mulch. So we got to do a little bit smaller. But. We'll still move it pretty quick, faster than we Yeah, I think so. I think, so. okay, so mm -hmm. I think what you're going to do, right, is fill up all three bags. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mow that. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to hook the tarp up. You're going to fill up the tarp. Then we're going to put the three bags on top. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to go all the way back to where we All prepped. the way to the back. Yeah. So let's see what we can do. But okay. the boss has to go run a stripe up the side over yeah. there and cut it pretty low so i'm gonna go to the back too is that okay okay that's fine yeah like the all the way to the back right yeah oh i don't care okay you go. if you want to mow the whole dandelion field over here you can 
Okay. Okay, okay we're going big or we're going home, right? On, Hold on, let me do this. Go for it. How hard was that? No, we need a bigger tarp, but... We could pull a lot more, right? Yeah, if we could, if we had a bigger tarp. We'll have to remember that. Yeah, we didn't think about that. But nice. Nice, nice. And see how easy these are? This is like halfway filled, and it's so easy to drive. Yeah. And the nice thing is, is it has multiple handles, so you can flip it over really easy. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna set up and edge that side real quick. Okay guys, Rachel's blowing off real quick. I'll show you what we got down. Oh my gosh. If you can hear me, the wind is atrocious out here. It's supposed to be worse tomorrow. So in an hour and a half, I know that was almost eight yards of mulch. He loads us heavy there. But in an hour and a half, we got this spaded work. On, well, no, in an hour and a half, we got all this mulch moved off of that trail truck look there's our big property we went all the way out there guys but not bad rachel will spread this tomorrow while i um continue spading down and then when she's done spreading all that and i spade down more we'll probably stop and go mowing so we have all this left to do now the other side all i'm doing is weed each and put an edge line it's not going to be a perfect straight line because these people don't even mow. Putting all new houses down. See? Yeah. That's a pretty sunset, right guys? Look, if you lived up on that mountain there, you'd be in fog right now. That cloud's touching it. Mm -hmm. And that mountain's what, right by our house, I think? No, we're over that way more. No, yeah, that is our mountain by our house. Night crew is done. Night crew is done and it is dark. Yeah, and it's getting cold out. 
So, yeah, it did get cold. Tonight's supposed to go down to 34, guys. It got super windy and then and then chilly. So, we did realize that the one downfall to the tarp is that it's tough to load by yourself if it's windy and the bags. Like, when it's really windy, it's blowing around. And it's manageable, and I still think I can move more even with the wind. I mean, we did that pretty quick. What time did we say? It was, it was one 6 o'clock? One hour and 50 minutes We I checked when we were done and cleaning up. It took us one hour and 50 minutes. And we... Did we do any cleanup when we were... A tiny bit. Like, we didn't Here really have much cleanup. You just had... I did a little bit in the beginning where I got some more of the so an hour, ambulines out. Hour, and then you edged that one side. Yeah. So, so an hour and 50 minutes we got... And I can say we bought six shards of mulch. But I know there are seven close to eight there. Because she even told me that he's loading today. He loads heavier than the other people. So... It's hard to tell, like, when you have buckets, you mm -hmm. know, but um, we're we're thankful for our mulch yard, for I sure. I mean, I was pulling, we were pulling 40 and 50 pitchforkfuls on the tarp all yeah. the way back there. Yeah. So, we unloaded that whole trailer and what, seven, seven loads on the tarp. You and were... I don't know about you guys, but my legs are certainly much stronger than, you know, like, my upper body, like, the lift. So for me to pull a tarp is so much easier yeah. than even the wheelbarrow, to be honest and with we, you. The <laughs> wheelbarrow makes me so angry sometimes. And we didn't even pull the tarps. The beast pulled them. Yeah. So yeah. If you guys have a mower, well, we there you go. Them into the, we pulled them into the area. But yeah, yeah that was, it was a lot of mulch that the beast moved. So you, figure, the beast. you figure without the beast on... Saturday, the video you got, video you guys seen before this, we were there all day long. Granted, we were spading and stuff, yeah. but we were moving individual little bit on tarps and bags because we were going into beds with the all the plants and the uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. You don't want to drag it over that. Yeah. So now that we had the beast, we did just as much mulch almost mm -hmm. into the beds as we did in one in one hour and fifty minutes. Yeah. yeah so yeah. don't don't give up on tarp. I mean, don't. Throw tarps out, guys. Just think they could work better than wheelbarrows. In our yeah. situation, they work 10 times better than wheelbarrows. Everybody's different again, and everybody has, you know, their favorite techniques, and it's what works for you. And you even seen the, the bags we had. If we had five of them bags or six of them bags, I would have filled up six of them bags, put it on the big tarp, and drug uh -huh. it. Then yeah. when you get to the spots, you can individually carry each bag over. Yeah. So if you guys haven't been doing it like that, just try it. If it works out better for you, there's a new way. If not, yeah. then go back I mean, the it other works way. for us. Yeah. So. so hopefully you guys like that video. Yeah, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have, Have a good, good night. night.